Hey guys, welcome back. I had to come to you and give you a quick video of my most recent experience. So I am a, let me close the door because my daughter is super loud. Um, I am a fan of Walmart, although there are many people who you know, have one complaint or another about Walmart. I like Walmart and I feel like the prices at Walmart are, sorry, prices at Walmart are pretty good. Um, so I went to Walmart today and I went with, I had intent. So you guys know I live in Vegas, it's the desert, it's hot, it's dry, and I needed a humidifier. So I went with the purpose of getting a humidifier and then I, of course, shopped and found some other things. So I was going to get excuse me, some games so we as a family could play. I picked up Boggle, which I absolutely love. And I picked up, uh, I was looking for um, badminton, but for whatever reason, you know, probably right after the holidays and everything, they did not have badminton. But um, I picked up a game called... Heard nothing, heard, th heard things. And um, anywho, when I got to the register, I had some other items, but when I got to the register, my stuff rang up to $60. No big deal. That's kind of sort of what I was expecting to pay. But I noticed that the Boggle Gang rang up at $9.88 and it was advertised for $6.25. So, you know, not a big deal. I just asked uh, the person who was, because I did self-checkout, so I asked the, the uh, register lady or whatever, I don't know what they call it, the salesperson, um, if she could make a, a price adjustment. And so she said, well, I have to get the manager. No problem. I waited. The manager eventually came. It took a little bit longer than what I suspected it would, but whatever, you know? And so she came and I said, uh, this is um, ringing up a couple of dollars more than what it's advertised for, and I didn't see the shelf label because it was not in its correct uh, place, but there was a, a staff person in the game area who verified that it was indeed 625. So she's like, okay. And so she, you know, went through her phone and I guess they have to pull up an app or whatever. And, um, she scanned it and it was indeed 625. So she corrected the price. And uh, right after she walked away, had another item that rang up like nineteen dollars, but it was twelve. It rang up eighteen eighty eight to be more precise, and it was actually twelve eighty nine. So I said, "Oh, I'm so sorry. Can you get your manager back because I have another item that did not ring up properly?" So she got the manager anyhow. She came back, and I don't know what was wrong. I don't know why she had attitude or what what, but she came back, and I said, "I'm sorry, but this item also rang up incorrectly." And so it was taking our very very long time to find it. And so she said, "Well, it doesn't come up on our app." And so I said, "Well, I have it pulled up on my phone here, and it says twelve. Uh, 89 and she said well it may be from a third party and I said no um I didn't say this to her but look I am like <laughs> I should have like a Walmart frequent buyer car because I'm always there right so anywho and I buy a lot of things online and I just go pick them up in the store because I don't really like you know whatever so anyhow I said no um I I know that you oftentimes use third parties but it generally indicates the third party and this right here says pick up today which is a clear indication that it is indeed a walmart product and this is the walmart price and so she was just i was like well can you um you know see my phone i mean i just i i i'm not making it up it's not a i'm not you know changing prices or anything i had just pulled it up on my phone and she was like no unless you have the walmart app and so I was just like, okay, so we're standing there, we're waiting, like, you know, at this point, we're like two or three minutes in, not a long time, but it feels like a long time when you're just standing, right? So then my daughter says, I have the app. And I was like, oh, okay, we'll scan that with the app. So she pulls, she opens the app, she scans the game with the app, and it comes up twelve eighty nine. And so the girl, the, the girl is just like, look at, <laughs> so I said, um, she, you know, you said, unless I have the app. So we just pulled it up on the app and it did indeed, after my daughter scanned it, it did indeed indicate 1289. And so she was just like, well, you're just going to have to wait. Whoop. 
And so, and so uh, she was like, I have to pull it up on my, on my phone. And I was like, well, you just told me. And my daughter pulled it up. So what are we waiting for now? So she, you know, she's, I, she, the exchange was not a pleasant exchange. Um, I wasn't nasty. I wasn't ugly in the beginning. Uh, but then when she started, you you going to have to wait. I mean, she, well, let me tell you, she didn't say you're going to have to wait with attitude like that. But she was like, you have to wait on the app. And I said, well, you just said, unless you have the app. And my daughter has the app. She just pulled it up. And so she was like, well, you're going to have to wait. And I was, no, I said, well, do you know how long it's going to take? Because we need to go. She said, you have to wait for the app. I don't know uh, how long the app's going to take to open up. And I said, okay, well, we did what you just said. We pulled up the, the item on the app. So it's $12.89. Well, you have to wait on the app because that's the only way I could change the price. Okay, I'm unclear because you just said unless you have the app. Now, my daughter has the app and she pulls it up. What are you waiting on? What is what is the problem, right? And so she's still just standing there. I said, well, um, uh, I don't know if it was there at what point, but at some point I said, well, do you know about how long it's going to take? Well, you're just going to have to wait until it comes up. What? And I was just like, okay. And she's like, you're going to have to wait. And I said, okay, all I want you to do is your job. And so maybe that was like it struck a nerve or whatever. And I wasn't trying to be funny. But like, look, I just really want, that's really all I wanted. I wasn't trying to be ugly. I wasn't trying to be mean. I just want you to do your job. And so then she said, I'm waiting on the app. And you're going to wait on the app. Who are you talking to? Right? So I said, um, yeah, just do your job. Just do your job. I, d fine. And when you're going with, I'm waiting on the app. I said, I will wait. I will wait on the app. You just do your job. And so, girl, guy, whoever watching this video, did she try to stare me down? Eh? Are you serious? She was just like, so I was like, <laughs> and after a minute, I was just like, you know what? Forget it. Because here's the thing. Everything that you have. Target has. Target right down the street. So I'll just go to Target. And here is the big thing about th that makes me uh, like Target is they price match too. And they put you price match your stuff. Like they price match for items on Walmart.com. I don't know if they price match for other stores. But um, anyhow, Target price matches for everybody. I went into Target once and I was going to get some... Atkins bars. I know. Don't look like I've been eating none of them bars, right? <laughs> but I was going to get some Atkins bars and um, some store, I don't even know who it was, but they had it for um, like $5.99 and they were like bringing up $8. And I pulled it up on my phone and they were like, okay. And they changed the price, right? So Target will price match almost anybody, I'm guessing. Um, but Walmart is has, they they don't price match everybody. But anyhow, my issue was, what kind of customer service are you offering? Like, who are you that, first of all, you're going to stare me down? And second of all, you're going to try to call me? Are you going to try to talk to me? Like, you you about, to, you about it? Like, you about to do something? Girl, boo, and bye. So, of course, I went for a manager. She was a manager. So, I went for another manager. It took forever. Like, so now I'm in the store just waiting almost 10 minutes so I yeah probably even longer 10 minutes if you add the time that it took her to do her little mess and stand there and act foolish so I ended up leaving and I called and I spoke to a manager and he, so he was like no I understand your position but uh she was probably talking about look listen let me tell you something first of all I'm a consumer it doesn't matter how much money I spend there. If I spend $4, $40, $400, $4,000, for I am a consumer. And so don't make excuses for your employees. Here's what you say, boo. Um, I'm not sure how that conversation went, but based on what you're telling me, it was inappropriate, and I will speak with her. What happened? Like, who are you people? Are you got everybody's kids nowadays, and don't get me wrong. I know that's how life is, you know, the, the old people, you know, when you get to a certain age, you, you can't do all the things that some of the younger people are doing. So, but somebody need to teach these kids, listen, I am certainly not the person that you want to push. 
<laughs> so my sister, my, my sister, my daughter, she said, Ma, it's because of the t-shirt that you had on. I got my breast cancer t-shirt on. It's because the t-shirt that you had on that she didn't um, hit you. I was like, uh, oh. she saved her own life <laughs> by not hitting me. So, or, or I saved her life by having on this t-shirt because I promise you what she wasn't going to do is hit me and walk away. I don't know that she would have ever walked again. I promise you that. But anyhow. I'm really not a bad person. I'm really not an angry person. I'm actually really, really, really nice, almost a pushover sometimes. But then you, sometimes you just, can't, I'm, I'm, look, I'm, I'm at the wall. You can't push anymore. So, um, yeah, the manager, he was just like, I'm sorry. And I said, you know, she was just staring, staring at me like as if it was a challenge. And I said, I have to be completely honest. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't at my best as far as customer service or or uh, as a consumer the way that I uh, responded. But check your staff. I just wanted to tell you that Walmart, you are no longer my go-to. Sorry, but if you can't get your staff people in check and your managers don't see why it's important to help the consumer as opposed to argue or challenge the consumer you don't deserve my business and I promise you look before Christmas um, or around Christmas we spent about four thousand dollars in Walmart with TVs and um, other things it won't happen again it won't happen again thank you uh, but no, thank you. What what did Ariana Grande say? Thank you. Next. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. Peace.